So welcome back to another episode, and this one is going to be a rambling episode. I'm going to talk about a lot of things. I'm going to talk about the Super Nintendo Classic. I'm going to talk about the Shenmue teaser, and a little bit about Sonic Mania, a little story I have about that. I'll start with the Sonic Mania stuff to begin with. I haven't played the game. I am going to play the game. That is going to happen. I've just been really busy with a lot of things going on. That is on my radar to do. But I have this funny story. I knew blast processing was back. The other day, I'm driving up this hill by my place with my wife, huge, gigantic hill, and there's this skateboarder blasting down, man, this young guy. Must have been like 14, 15 years old. And he's holding in his hands as he's going by so fast, a Sonic Mania Collector's Edition. And I was like, it was the funniest thing to see that, you know, you just kind of driving up the hill and he's whoosh. And I'm like, holy shit, Blast Processing is back. And I don't know why, but as an old school Sega fan, it kind of warmed my heart. I was like, that is awesome. It's so nice to see a younger person, you know, from my generation when I first saw Sonic. I was skateboarding downhill just as fast, but I didn't have the Sonic Mania Collector's Edition. And I was just like, good for him, man. Go home and have a good time. It was really awesome to see that. Okay, <laughs> moving on from that, let's talk about the, the Super Nintendo Classic and what that's all about. First of all, I hate to say, we all, we all saw this coming. We did. This is not a surprise. It sold out everywhere. I didn't even really bother looking. I was out with Victor Lucas, we were at a movie uh, screening, and he's like, hey, it's for sale. I'm like, oh, is it? He's like, oh, no, it's sold out. And I'm like, yeah, of course it isn't. I, I'm not getting myself hyped up. I'm in the zone that I'm just not gonna get one. I will never see one in a store. I'm not gonna go onto eBay and do any of that stuff that is not happening. I won't support uh, scalpers. And they're already out all, the, you know, they're already all over eBay and Craigslist and all that. It's very frustrating. I'm sorry, I get really pissed off about this. The fault is with Nintendo not creating enough. And I have heard from some sources that are quite reliable that it's going to be exactly like the NES Classic. It's going to be exactly like that. But we all knew that, didn't we? But was there any of us that really thought there was going to be enough and there's going to be tons of them? Well, you know, sometimes we kind of hope. Maybe like this time Nintendo will get it right. Maybe Nintendo wants to make money. This is an item that should always be in stores. The NES Classic should always be in stores and the Super Nintendo Classic. And I'm sure in the future, the Nintendo 64 Classic and the GameCube Classic and all that stuff. This stuff is going to be going on for years. Nintendo would make a bank with all the retro dads and mums out there, you know, buying these things for their kids just because, oh, I want my kid to have one like I had one. And... Yeah, you can't get one. You just, they all went on sale at midnight and sold out and everybody, everybody's freaking out online and going crazy. And I just closed my Twitter browser because I just don't care. I'm not getting involved. I'm not getting my hype up. I, my hype was not there because I knew I wasn't going to get one. I knew that was not going to happen in the least. But so it's the same thing over again, again. In other news, everybody's been asking me to respond to the Shenmue 3 uh, teaser trailer that went up. It went up on the uh, PlayStation YouTube channel the other day, and I watched it, and everybody wants to know what, what I thought about it. Well, I didn't freak out like everybody else did. Everybody said, oh my god, the facial animations, oh my god, this is terrible, this is horrible. And I watched it, and I was like, yeah, it's, an, it's a game that's early in development. Everybody like calm down, like it's not final. It's not final. This is not a final trailer saying this is the game, it's shipping next week. Then there'd be a little bit of uh, cause for concern. And I wasn't concerned because I was like, this is early, man. And also facial animations, they usually do a little bit later on. And then here's the thing, Yu Suzuki just responded and said, hey, this is early! We're gonna fix all the facial animation. Calm down, everybody, you know? And I was like, relax, and... It's so funny in the video game community, and I'm the, I'm the first to admit it, I react intensely. What the fuck is going on with things at times? I do, but everybody just went crazy, jumping on the bandwagon of hate to Shenmue 3, and that's, that's a bandwagon that I'm never on. I'm a Shenmue fan for life. I trust Yu Suzuki. I trust him. Look at his legacy. It's a good legacy. 
And even if the game looks just like Shenmue 1 or 2, I'll be happy. That's why I backed the Kickstarter because I believe in Yu Suzuki. And I know, we all know from the Mighty Number no. 9 fiasco that's still in everybody's mind. That's in the back of everybody's mind. Oh no, we're getting screwed again. We're getting screwed again. Everybody goes into that same mindset. And uh, as Shenmue fans, I reach out to every Shenmue fan out there. Let's unite and uh, promote Shenmue 3. Let's let's make this happen in a wonderful way and and have some belief. We have to believe in the project. I will I will only not believe in the project when I get a copy and I'm like something's wrong. And I backed it myself and I'll take the full responsibility that the games, you know, didn't end up being good. I'll be like, "Well, damn. I believed." And I you know it turned out to not to be good or something like that. But I believe it will be good. I love Shemu. I'm I'm holding a candle. You know what I mean? I'm with Rio in the in the in the in the cave in the end of Shemu 2. I have some belief. I believe in that magic, and I, I'm hoping it'll be okay. And they've come out and said that the facial animation is okay. Why did they release the trailer? I think they just got excited and were like, we need to get something out for the backers and for the fans to show them something. And uh, yeah, they just I, I don't think they realize how. Sometimes the, the internet can just jump on something, and the internet definitely jumped on something with the uh, Shamu 3 facial animation. And uh, as I say, it's early. Let's wait. Let's wait. I'm sure it'll turn out absolutely okay and all that. So, guys, I just wanted to come in and talk about a lot of things. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the video game community lately. I still love that Sonic Mania story. That, that'll be something that I will never forget. It was kind of like the morning years ago when I got Xenosaga 1. Okay, on the PlayStation 2, and I picked it up from EB, and I'm in my car, I'm at a stoplight, I, I've been driving on the highway, I stop at a stoplight, and I'm kind of opening my copy of the game. This is the weirdest thing ever, what a coincidence this is. And I'm opening the game, and I look over, purely by chance, there's somebody else in a car with a copy of Xenosaga, and they're opening the plastic too. And I was just like, kindred brother here, and I, I, I didn't know what to do. I wanted to wave and say, I've got it too. I believe as well. It was the weirdest thing that happened years ago. Was that 2002 when Xenosaga came out? It must have been. And that reminded me of that story. You're like, kindred friend, you know, and you see them coming down the road and they have the same kind of passion uh, for the hobby as you do. So anyways, guys, until next time.